Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today I want to show you a really, really cool product. We are here in my home studio um, because it's just a little bit easier to show you how to use this product in this setting versus our regular video arena. So today what I wanted to show you was Amico friendly pellets. These are really, really cool. This is a low temperature plastic molding pellet that you can use for like casting and, and molds and different kinds of stuff. I've seen, you know, like cosplayers, crafters. I've even seen people do auto repair with this, this stuff. It's really, really great. I'm going to show you how easy and simple it is to use. I think one of the, the most interesting features about the friendly pellets is that let's say that you cast something and you totally botched it like you totally messed it up the really really great part about this is you just actually reheat it and reuse it so even if you've got a piece that you cast and maybe used it for a little bit and now you don't need it anymore you can actually remelt it over and over and over again so there's like literally no loss so this is a really really fun product uh, really easy to use safe non-toxic um, and want to show you how easy and fun it is to use so what I need is, I got my microwave. Um, you can use this like um, just with hot water out of a tea kettle if you want to, but I'm gonna show you how I use this. So I got like a ramekin. Um, whenever you use this product, make sure you're not using like an aluminum container because apparently there's some kind of reaction and cause it discoloring stuff. Um, you can mix color in with the pellets if you're trying to color ahead of time. Uh, I've had kind of like, mm, you know, results with that, so I kind of prefer not to, to do that. So, what I'm going to do is here's your little package of friendly pellets. We got smaller containers. I just got a huge one. So, I'm um, going to heat up my water in the microwave. And uh, this will be the um, boring portion um, where we stand around and look at each other and listen to some elevator music. <laughs> so here we go should be warm enough feels plenty warm enough you're only trying to get this to about 120 degrees which is not hot at all um, but what we're going to do is we're going to take some of the pellets I'm actually going to pour these in the lid um, you don't need a ton and what's going to happen is we're going to pour the pellets into the water they will get all neighborly and stick to one another because they like each other like that um and as you see and hold this up they are white when we first put them in and as they start to warm up and cure they stick together and they turn clear so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of massage this process uh, we're going to roll those little puppies around in this warm water and you'll see that they'll continue to get clearer and clearer And it just takes, you know, maybe about 30 seconds if you got the water warm enough. Now, you'll notice if you don't have the water warm enough that they will just continue to kind of drift around. If they're not sticking together, then you're not, you don't have it warm enough to where they're actually going to meld together. And what you want it to do is become one big pliable unit. The other thing to keep in mind is don't be a complete idiot and stick your hand into really hot water. Um, like Jules did when to get it out <laughs> use like a uh, like I got a little plastic picnic knife or like a um, popsicle stick or something like that so this should be plenty warm enough now yeah it is and you can see it starts to get all kind of like sticky gooey but it's not so warm that you can't handle it with your hands we're gonna play with it and now we're gonna take it over to our molds that we created with the Alumalite Mold Putty. And what we're gonna do is, once this cools off, it gets, it starts to firm up really quick. So what we're gonna do is press it into these molds that we've already made. And as it starts to cool, it's gonna cloud up and turn white. Now, if you're into exact work with this, 
you are going to want to kind of practice and measure this out a little bit better so you don't have so much overage. Because the one thing I can say about this product is it's a little tough to cut off the excess. Um, the cool part is that if you've got some like utility scissors, it can be done. And then the best part is that all of those little excess trimmings, fling them back into some warm water, use them again, remelt them all over again. So that's the coolest part about the, the friendly pellets is that they're so versatile and you can do so much with them. Um, we are using this um, to cast into like a silicone mold, but you can actually hand sculpt with the friendly pellets. Um, if you need to add additional pieces onto it, you can actually just dip it into warm water um, and that allow the, the, the two pieces to bond together. Um, you do lose a little bit of detail when you reheat it and back and forth. So you have to like leave your detail work for the very end. Um, but in terms of assembly and stuff like that, it can be reheated, add pieces to it, bond them together, do all kinds of different stuff. As you can see, just in a couple of minutes, this is starting to cloud over and it'll turn like a cloudy white when it's ready to come out. And you will see how easy it is to make all kinds of really, really cool stuff with the Amico Friendly Pellets. They are super cool. We'll just give it a couple little minutes here. This should be ready. You can feel it gets like rigid and it, you know, cools off fairly quickly. So we're gonna pop this out of the mold. So this is the Alumalite mold putty. And you can see you get really, really sharp detail um, with this. So all kinds of different casting. You can make all kinds of cool stuff. This is extremely rigid one and it's completely cooled. So you can do all kinds of neat things with it. I've seen people make fishing lures out of them. I've seen them do car repair. There's just a million different applications of fun, really, really creative stuff that you can do with Amico friendly pellets. They are fantastic. They're really inexpensive. They are reusable, so there's no waste at all. Totally, completely fun to work with and we know that you will enjoy.